Welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to this week's energy forecast. I'm Sarah Louise, I'm a reader of the cosmic weather, I'm an intuitive and I'm here to share with you my take on what's going to be coming up this week. You know, what that cosmic weather's doing, how we can best prepare with it, how we can work with the energy that's going to be around so we can navigate ourselves on our you know, best possible path, take all the blessings that this incredible universe wants to share with us and yeah, live our best life. So this week, we're what, first week of February, yeah, and there's most definitely a shift in energy. Um, but as I said to you, it's still pretty calm for this month. And I believe that this is the month all about kind of healing and preparation because March is crazy, like it's on, let's go, big stuff happening. So we've got this beautiful month of February where we can really do some really deep healing. And this week, we have kind of two pivotal things in February, I believe. One is this full moon that comes up this week, and the other is a super new moon we have in two weeks. So this week, yeah, we start on Monday, or depending on where you are, for me it will be in Brisbane, it's a Monday, could be Sunday for you. Um, we start the week anyway on with the most incredible full moon in Leo. And I don't know about you, but I was sitting on my deck last night and um, you know, you may be looking at your window and that moon was massive and the illumination was so bright and it was like, wow, yeah. And I feel like the energy and the opportunity that's coming from this full moon is pretty wow, yeah. So let's think about Leo, very, um, uh, playful, super kind of heart-centered, um, confident, life and soul of the party, got a lot of energy, you know, they're, they're you know, think of the lion, yeah, they're powerful, yeah, so we got this full moon shining on Leo to bring up themes to help us do some work on ourselves to grow and evolve and you know become the highest possible version of ourselves that's what all these illuminations are doing helping us to heal and grow and evolve to rise up our energy and live in those beautiful high vibes yeah whether we choose to do that is up to us yeah but we know what it feels like to be high vibe or low vibe and i know that doing the work yes takes time yes takes energy yes you know takes awareness but when we do it and we're high vibe it's a much place nicer place to live and we can live on this earth where you know wherever we choose low vibe high vibe wherever but we know that up there is so much better so um this week full moon in leo and i believe it's giving us this really beautiful opportunity to this kind of wants to push us out of our heads and back into our hearts yeah so as humans we can tend to get especially at the moment because we're in aquarius season right we can become a bit heady yeah you know it's all kind of you know around our thoughts and this full moon wants to push us back into our hearts how does it feel yeah, come back into this kind of beautiful, open up your heart, come back into your heart. So, you know, your work this week, I believe, should be around, you know, what do I, not what do I think about this, but how do I feel about this? And really starting to get in touch this week. This is what this illumination wants us to do, is get in touch with our feelings. Yeah, so out of the head, into the heart, not what do I think, but how do I feel, yeah, um, it's also very healing, yeah, like I said to you, the whole of February is healing, and I feel like this illumination of this full moon is going to kick off, kick off another level of healing, and I believe that this layer of healing is, could be, might be, probably will be, around some old deep, and we call it the inner child stuff, and there's a lot of people out there doing a lot of work around inner child stuff. If you hop over to um, my website or, yeah, the blog page on the website, um, www.sarahlouise.live, there's on my blog page, I actually shared some exercises, some worksheets to do around inner child healing, yeah. And 
I believe that this full moon wants us to heal some of those kind of inner child wounds. So they may come up. Yeah, I feel like it's very relationship based at the moment. So, you know, looking down deep into those old relationships, possibly family, you know, in your pride. Think of the lion and it's got its pride. So it wants us to heal those relationships in our pride. Yeah. So, you know, when we do our inner child work, like every, every little inner child has got some little bit of work. Everybody has. Yeah, that's why we're here. We're in the healing space right now. Earth is the place we come to heal, I believe. So, you know, it may be the way you interpret love or how you don't feel quite like you fit in or, you know, there's so many different ways that this plays out, yeah? But just, and all of us is different, yeah? So just having a little, you know, feel into that inner child and you may find some old relationship stuff comes up because remember that a full moon is ending of cycles. It's this kind of culmination of things and then there's this beautiful, massive light that shone on things that need to be cleared, healed, resolved, looked at, yeah? So if stuff comes up, like it quite often does, and remember that a full moon makes us, you know, slightly more emotional, and I believe that emotional is in touch with our emotions so that we can work with them, not, you know, to make us feel really sensitive in a negative way, but super positive, yeah? So, you know, if you find that you may be feeling a bit emotional or stuff's coming up, yeah, kind of really feel into it, yeah, feel into that little inner child, like what's going on, you know, maybe have some conversations, yeah, be careful around a full moon because sometimes if we're not, you know, controlling those emotions and aware of them, yeah, they can be a little bit erratic and we can be a bit volatile and maybe say things that we regret afterwards and we don't want to do that. So I sometimes feel like a full moon when, you know, it's peaking, it's a really good time to go internal. Yeah, what's going on for me? And, you know, we can always have those conversations either before or after. Yeah, but kind of like, you know, think of that line that goes off on its own and licks its own wounds and, you know, and then it may lick others. But first of all, you know, it's very much there. Yeah. So having that little bit of time and just feeling into, you know, some old stuff and, you know, feeling how you can resolve it in your own kind of heart. Yeah. Doing the work on you and then possibly having those conversations that maybe need to be had. Yeah. I feel like also it's for many people I know it's been a really challenging beginning of the year yeah for some people it's been amazing and that's fantastic but I know for many people there's been some huge challenges through the beginning of this year and I feel like this light this full moon beam of light comes in and lightens things up it brings a bit of you know lightness back so I know that that's going to be super welcomed for a lot of people so if you feel like it's been quite heavy feel like this could feel like you know a breath of fresh air some beautiful light coming in so you know sit in that enjoy that you know kind of come out of that darkness into that light because it's going to take a conscious choice you know there's the light over there walk over to it be in it feel it yeah as i keep saying feel it feel it like this is such a feeling time right now yeah and be cool with feeling you know being in your feelings in your emotions yeah it's really important yeah and as I said, we are in Aquarius season, so we, you know, we've got this tendency to go in to be quite heady, quite, you know, in our thoughts, mental, trying to work it out here, sink into the heart, get grounded, sink into the heart. Yeah. So it's a big week coming up, but I feel like it's a beautiful week and it's a really amazing opportunity under this um, full moon to heal. You know, to soothe, to heal, to feel, yeah, to really come into yourself, yeah. So use this time wisely. Do this work now. You know, 
when I'm guiding you with what's going on, it's like we're really tuning into these cycles of the universe, of nature, of where we're living, yeah? And we feel like then when we're doing that work, we're really in the flow and we don't get so um, thrown off track when challenges come in. Because hear me when I'm telling you, right? February is healing. It's, you know... As I said, each each week of February, I'm going to give you something to work on. This week, it's your inner child. Yeah? So, last week, it was on your judgments and your emotions. Next week, I'm going to give you something else. Yeah? Really use this time because when March comes, you want to... We really do need to be feeling if we want to really be on our, you know, highest vibe... We really need to be feeling that we're grounded, we've got this, we're cool, you know. We feel, you know, there's nothing that's too chaotic. We've learned how to work through. We've had those conversations. We're super in our center. We're so understanding of the world around us, within us. And then when March comes and the energy starts to really speed up, we're ready to go with it, yeah? When March comes and we've got some big shifts coming in, we're like, we're feeling so empowered and so good and so healed and, you know, great that we're ready to go. We're not like, oh, not now, I'm not ready. We're like, let's do this, let's go, it's on. Yeah, so trust me. Trust me on this. Um, we have a beautiful session tomorrow, so it's Sunday here now, and Monday, Brisbane, 7pm, I'm going to be working directly under this full moon to just take all the benefits of all the energy that's coming in from it. I feel like we kind of deserve it, <laughs> yeah. And we know that these are all the gifts from the universe and this beautiful light that's coming in. Like, let's feel it in every bit of our being. Yeah, so I have got a live session. And um, if you feel inclined, please join that. Um, yeah, it's going to be beautiful as always. So you can hop on the website www.sarahlouise.live book into that super easy um, live session under that full moon taking all the benefits of it all that light that's coming through all that healing yeah also um, as I said to you all that heart opening heart centering um, there's some incredible energy coming through on that I can feel it already so if you want to align and have a little bit of that yes then please join that session. If not, enjoy this week, enjoy this full moon, enjoy the energy, do the work, have a little look at that inner child and um, yeah, have an amazing week. Yeah, life's good. Yeah, really is. It really is. We're in really beautiful times right now that, yeah, healing our soul and our mind and our bodies on some really deep levels if we choose to. So yeah, have an amazing week. I'll see lots of you live online Monday, the, what will it be? The 7th, I think, 6th, 7th, I don't know. Anyway, tomorrow, Monday, um, yeah, 7 p.m. Brisbane time. I'll see lots of you there. And if I don't see you there, I'll see you back here next week with your energy report. Have an amazing week. Happy full moon in Leo.